Hello, friends of the internet. Austin B Media has officially turned three years old. As you know, one of the things I do when I celebrate an anniversary, whether it be my second anniversary last year, my first anniversary two years ago, and my sixth anniversary two years and six months ago, I'm going to announce some new things for Austin B Media. Now, I've already got the written version up. If you want to go check that out, I'll link to it in the description of the YouTube video. For now, if you'd like to wa watch the video, uh, just keep watching. So the first thing uh, I want to announce that I'm expanding to music contributors. I've already got contributors for general ent entertainment, streaming, TV, video games, technology, movies, podcasts, and videos. I've or I already have applications where people can apply to do that and pitch whatever idea they have in their head. Now that I've had success with Christian Salazar and Beta Critic, their, their lovely reviews have enabled me to kind of expand into music where I think I don't have the knowledge of music to really speak intelligently about that topic without just saying this one's a bop this one's not so I'm going to by the time this video is up you should have a there should be a page where if you want to be a contributor you can do so. You can write your pitch and everything. I'll have that in the description. And then for patrons, I want to get a little bit into that. That's going to be the meat of what we're talking about here. But first, I want to talk about returning patron exclusives. Back in January, I removed monthly hangouts and behind the curtain episodes from the benefits that patrons would receive. All of these benefits are going to return as you're watching this. In fact, I already put out a monthly hangout availability survey on the Patreon, so go check that out. So all of those will return immediately, as well as monthly Q&As, monthly bonus episodes of the Austin B Media podcast, and I'm going to be resuming movie and TV commentary, starting with Chile 76 and The Cow Who Sang a Song Into the Future. Indie picks, I know it's not like a Marvel movie or something like that, but I... These are going to be representative of the kinds of films I watch and not just, hey, what's popular? So I thought that was also important when deciding what the first round of commentaries would be. Then getting into kind of the new patron exclusives, I'm going to be introducing a bunch of new exclusives for patrons. So first, let's talk about what's all the patrons, whether you're a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars or twenty dollars, what you're going to get no matter what tier you're at. I'm going to be starting a podcast dedicated to discussing the latest spoilers from movies, television shows, and even video games that I'm going to call Spoiler Warning. The first few episodes will be discussing Scream 6, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and its companion book Battle Scars. Then on May 9th, Knock at the Cabin, Ant-Man on the Wasp Quantumania on May 17th, John Wick Chapter 4 on May 23rd, the first three episodes of Apple TV Plus's uh, show Platonic on May 24th and Ted Lasso Season 3 when it wraps up on May 31st. Another thing that all patrons are going to receive are going to be monthly feedback surveys that are primarily focused on how satisfied you are with my Patreon. If you're not a patron, don't worry, you're going to get surveys too. It's just going to be quarterly and mainly focused on the website or YouTube or other things that I've just been wanting to hear your opinion about so that's going to be every three months so the next one will be in june so shifting to five dollar patrons they'll get even more of a voice with access to the weekly request for review poll which previously was available to ten dollar patrons i want to shift that down to five dollars in addition they're also going to get a headline help poll for any time i'm stuck on a review a headline and or even news articles to help me think of okay is this a good headline or is this not that'll be for five dollar patrons just help me out every now and then for ten dollar patrons this is a totally optional thing but the first new benefit you'll get is a monthly thank you in the form of a video recording or an email obviously you can opt out of this benefit at any time it's not replacing the existing patron shout outs in any way all this benefit is is a way for me to directly thank you for your support that's all it is. And I think doing a video or an audio recording or an email just once a month might help to, to just thank you. Then $15 patrons get the added benefit of watching me record the Austin B Media podcast live. And then for $20 patrons and above, um, I don't necessarily 
have a benefit for you at this time, a new benefit. I mean, I'm, I, I was working on something that would have been really, really cool. It was going to be something where you saw my in progress content. It just wasn't ready for the prime time. So once it's ready, I'll publish another one of these updates detailing what it exactly it is. I just haven't worked out all the kinks yet. To recap, all patrons get monthly hangouts, spoiler warning episodes, and monthly patron feedback surveys. $5 patrons get a monthly bonus episode of the Austin B Media Podcast, request to review weekly polls, and headline help polls. $10 patrons get monthly Q&As, behind the curtain episodes, and a monthly thank you, which is, again, completely optional. And then $15 patrons now get movie and TV commentaries and access to live recordings of the Austin B Media Podcast, which you still, you'll still get the recordings of the Austin B Media Podcast after the fact This that $15 thing is just just watch it live. And to help keep track of all the good stuff patrons get, I'm in the process of making a patron exclusives page on the website that's going to be organized by tier and the benefit that will be go going live sometime this week. I I'm still building it, so give me a bit of grace there. Essentially, if you follow Easy Allies, pretty much it, or any other Patreon that hosts a Patreon exclusives page on their website. It's just like that. And then recently, it came to my attention that how I utilize Patreon's early access feature, specifically when it comes to news articles, was not what you wanted. To reflect this, any article that does not strictly involve my opinion will no longer utilize Patreon's early access feature. On a similar note, I'm also going to be testing out a shorter early access period of six hours or less during periods where timely coverage is required. Like, say, a film festival like Tribeca 2023, whether I'm tied to a review embargo, or other very specific situations. It's going to be in very specific situations, and any reduction in early access will be clearly communicated to patrons. And then, I previously talked about this in uh, a Patreon post, um, so I'll link that post down below. But for those who don't know, Patreon is removing goals sometime this month. If you go to my Patreon about section, I have now put my goals in there. And to recap, those goals are once I reach $100 a month, that will cover all my review costs. Once I reach $276 a month, that will cover my hosting costs. Once I reach $480 a month, that will cover the podcast editor costs. Once I reach $20,000, once I reach $2,440 a month, that's my salary covered. Then once I reach $2,800, that I can redesign the site professionally. So that it looks like the PlayStation blog or, you know, The Verge, one of those professionally designed websites. Then at $3,500 a month, I can start covering uh, contributor fund costs. I can start taking all that money and just saying, hey, I can start paying my contributors. And then finally, my final Patreon goal is... 4782 a month, which will cover all my article editor costs. And then finally, I'm going to be using GoFundMe for the other goals that were primarily needs-based. At $90, I can purchase acoustic treatment for my office, so I'm not relying on just the microphone to isolate my voice and editing software. At $125, I'll be able to purchase a green screen. $150, I'll be able to purchase a chair instead of sitting in whatever is available to me. At $200, I'll be able to record gameplay. So I'll buy, buy a capture card for that, those purposes, and possibly even use those to record movie commentaries and maybe use some, some of those clips for movie reviews too. And then at $310, I get to purchase a new monitor. Finally, uh, I'm going to be retiring merch for now because while I introduced it on Black Friday, um... The experiment just didn't succeed. Instead of paying to keep everything up, I am going to remove the option to purchase said merch pretty much as soon as you're watching this video. So that's all for Phase 4 of Austin B Media. I hope you'll join me in this journey. You can go to patreon.com slash austinbmedia or join.austinb.media or austinb.media slash support to support me with all my endeavors with phase four all those links will be in the youtube description thank you for joining me for phase four and i can't wait to show you what i have next in a maybe another six months until next time <music>